Good morning. Um, I'm on my lunch break from work. And I realized that I didn't update anybody about my husband. Because um, I got some good news recently for anybody out there who has a spouse or son or daughter in prison and want to know how it works. You know, as far as the halfway house, like how they start to get you ready and the, do the processing and everything. Um, so I got an email from my husband saying that I needed to send a copy of my driver's license, a copy of my registration or tags for the car that I'm going to pick him up in, and also a proof of insurance. Um, and he gave me the address and told me to send it to her at that address. It was the address at the prison, but it wasn't the address I sent him mail at. Um, so I, I copied everything, my driver's license, my tags for the car, and my proof of insurance. I copied that, put it in an envelope, put the address on it, and sent it off. So that's the first step. And I guess them getting me ready, getting, you know, making sure, verify all my stuff and see if I'm legit so I can come pick him up and take him to the halfway house. Um, so I did all of that. Oh, my, the boss is my owner here. The owner of this store is here. Um, but anyway, that's <laughs> beside the point. But anyway, so I'm excited because that means by her asking for his caseworker asking for my information, it's basically saying that it's almost time. It's getting close. It's in October. So let me see. We go see. It's. We go see him on Sunday, so that'll be the 18th. Let me see. June, July, July to August, August to September, September to October. So it's four months until I actually go pick him up from the halfway house. So it's making me excited. It's like really about to happen. I'm about to pick up my husband from the from the prison, take him to the halfway house. And I'm excited about it because it'll be the first time in three years that we were able to have such a long like time together like we're gonna be able to drive together have conversation laugh talk all of that for four hours because they give you just enough time to get to the halfway house which is what he told me he said they give you just enough time so it takes four hours to get from where he is to where we are um so we'll be able to talk for four hours straight just uninterrupted it's gonna be exciting i'm just very excited uh so yeah i wanted to update y'all um, so four months in advance, they looking for the information. So I sent everything in. Like as soon as he sent me that email, that same day, I copied everything, put it in the envelope and sent it off. I think the next morning on my way to work. So I'm excited about that. Excited to hear about that. I don't know what they're going to do because my tags expire at the end of this month. So I don't know if they're going to send me another thing asking for my tags, my new tags. Um, and then also my car insurance expires. Well, it'll be time for me to renew in um, September. So I don't know if they're going to request that again because I don't pick him up until October. So I don't know if they're going to request insurance and my tags again. I don't like I don't know what they're going to do, but everything is valid right now. It'll roll. Everything will roll over a little bit from now on. Like insurance is going to roll over. I'm going to have to redo that again. And my tags I, at the before the end of this month, I have to re redo those again. So I don't know how it works. But it's such a blessing because we have another van and due to like payday loan, I mean title loan and stuff on that, I wasn't able to take that one because it still has a payday loan on it or a title loan. And so I don't have the title and I can't get it registered in my name. But this one, God bless us with this one. So this one is legit. It has the um, tags, all the paperwork, no loans, no nothing. So I could just go and pick him up in this one. And if I wouldn't have had this car, I wouldn't have been able to pick him up. Um... And then not only that, my when I was doing all the stuff with this new car, I had to get all my driver's license switched because we lived in um, Georgia and I had a Georgia driver's license. So I needed to switch everything to Alabama, which is the state we live in. So once I switched everything to Alabama, I, I was thinking like, dang, this is a lot to do, but it all is it was all needed for this moment for me to pick him up. Um, but I'm excited, so if anybody got any questions, I'll let y'all know. I'll update y'all so y'all don't know kind of how the process go. But I'm super excited. I'm super excited. All I need to do is make sure this car is up to par and they ain't about to break down on us halfway there. And when I go pick him up, I'm going to, because I stopped doing the hotel. I just drive in, see him, and drive back home because it's only four hours away. Um, but when I go pick him up, I'm coming in the night before getting a hotel. That way, because I, I pick them up at 8 o'clock in the morning. That way, I can be there, and I don't want to drive in tired. I want to drive in so I can just be there early, just excited at the hotel, which is like 10 minutes away. I'm just excited for this man to be coming home with his renewed mind. Um, loving the Lord for real. Being able to be humble now instead of how he was before. So, 
he was bad before in the fact that he didn't he, he didn't let God lead him, but now he's going to understand it or has the understanding that if you don't let God lead you, you will fall. Um, so, and his he sees his fall wasn't just going to prison. That going to prison is getting caught for your wrong and having to serve your time. But that's not the part. He's sad about that that he had to do all that, had to be away from his family and stuff like that. But that's not the part that he is. That's not the part that hurt him the most. The part that hurt him the most is that he walked away from God and allowed, you know, his flesh to his allow his flesh and him to be tempted to the point of sinning or doing illegal activity. So that's the thing that he hurts him the most that he walked away from God so much, so you know, so far away from God that he couldn't discern what he was doing was good or evil or why why was he even doing it. So yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Just wanted to update y'all. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.